think we got everyone here. Okay. Here we go. Hi, everybody. Oh, yeah. Woo. <laughs> So hello out there, good afternoon, Momocon. Um, as you know, uh, Overwatch is celebrating its first anniversary, and we thought what... <laughs> <laughs> and I cannot think of a better way to celebrate that than with you guys, our awesome community, you guys are awesome. and some of Woo! my favorite people in the world, and I suspect might be some of your favorites too to talk a little Overwatch. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Um, so I know it's probably not necessary, but I think maybe some quick introductions in order. Um, I'm Michael Chu, I'm the uh, lead writer of Overwatch. Um, and oh yeah! <laughs> easily the least interesting person here, but uh, I'll just, we'll just go down the line. I'm Lucy Paul, the doctor is in. This is Soldier 76 reporting for duty. <laughs> and I'm Charlotte Chung, nerf this. <laughs> What's going on, Johnny Cruz? Can't stop, won't stop. And I'm Matthew Mercer, and you know what time it is. <laughs> All right, so uh, I think to maybe to kick it off, um, since we're celebrating the uh, the first year of Overwatch, I was wondering if maybe um, you could share some of your favorite stories from this first year. Anything that particularly memorable happened or something you've really enjoyed? The fan art. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh yeah. You guys are making the greatest fan art and you guys it's influencing us. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah. Fan art and the fan costumes, the cosplay costumes. that's come yeah, out of this yeah, community. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, this audience. It's kind. <laughs> Holy. One of my favorite things that happened was I was in Edinburgh, Scotland talking to someone that I didn't know on the street. Um, because that's something that I do. Um, <laughs> and suddenly he looked at me and he said, wait, are you Mercy on Overwatch? And he just recognized my voice somewhere in the middle of the world, far away from me, from, so from home. And that was so wild. So yeah, that's one of my favorite memories. That's cool. <laughs> For me, I think uh, what's been surprising is how, um, how amazing the community uh, is, all you guys, and all the sharings you give me on um, Instagram, Twitter, about how it's affected your lives and how positively it's affected your lives, bringing you guys together. Uh, a lot of like just amazing positive stuff has been flown my way and just, I've been inundated with an amazing positive vibes from all of you and I'm just getting all the good feels. So much love. Woo. Yeah. yeah. And I think um, I have to say that um, it's been an incredible year. Uh, happy anniversary, everyone. Yeah. Uh, woo! Um, so many incredible memories, but I would have to say that uh, the diversity that I see out there, um, especially represented through our characters and the people that you guys choose to identify with, and that, that allowing us to be a community has really, I think, changed our lives. I, I know a lot of us have been working as actors for many, many years, but uh, it goes without saying that this game has changed our lives as much as it has yours. And we are sort of all one with the characters that we play now. And so that has changed my life. I would have to also say that all the ships that you guys yeah. <laughs> have created, um, has, I don't know if you guys see it, but like, hey, Daddy-O, and all of these <laughs> things that get incorporated into, woo, <laughs> into the game, um, it, it's because of you guys, and we're all listening, and Blizzard is listening, and we're all in this together, so I would have to say the entire year has been an incredible experience. Yeah, yeah I can, it's a phenomenon. That's the only really word I can use for it. And the fact that we get to be just a small part of this incredible creative endeavor that you guys, which by the way, like we're up here on the panel, but I want to give a big shout out for all the artists and, artists and, and writers and creators and, and, and content designers and level that's, designers. That's, and there ain't nothing without that. I've never met 
such a passionate team of people that are so excited to make this game as best as they can for you guys. And while you know we get the opportunity to be the face of it more than most, we are here representing the the cavalcade of talented people that made this happen. So please, like, appreciate and understand how many people put their blood, sweat, and tears to make this for you and maintain it as awesome as they do. Seriously, guys. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, one thing would be fun to talk about is maybe a little bit about how you know you guys bring these characters to life. So maybe going down uh, going down the row, what I'd like to know, and uh, I'm sure everyone else wants to know, but mostly it's just for me. Um, is uh, you know when you're getting in the booth to play your characters, you know what what do you do um, to get into the mindset and the performance of your specific character? Start down there. No, we're starting with Matt. <laughs> what up? Uh, shot of scotch. <laughs> <laughs> a little rye whiskey. I don't know. American breakfast. Um, for me, it, it's just get, getting relaxed. Yeah. You know, because the drive in LA traffic is not always relaxing. So I was making sure that I have enough time when I get there to kind of just chill out for a bit and, you know, get a little more of that devil may care attitude in there. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Such a milky, buttery, <laughs> delicious, like smooth. Just uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so that that, that, that helps a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, for me, I feel um, Lucio is just kind of a version of me, all amped up and like in party mode. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, I'm always like sipping on coffee. Uh, and when I get in the booth, I like I have to get up and I have to move around. Like I have to be. Uh, excited. I have to be in that mode of like free, carefree, so loose in the, so in the shoulders, but like ready to pounce at any minute and be like, oh yeah, oh, oh whoa! You know, so that's how I have to get into it when I'm like losing energy or steam. I have to like be like, no, 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 okay, oh, 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 oh yeah! So I go right back, I have to pump it up, amp it up. Amp it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, okay, so I guess I'll, I'll speak on something a little bit different because um, the process of me getting into character is basically listening to good music on the way to work and once I get there just to make sure that I do my vocal exercises and that I can speak in a range that's up here because she's, you know, definitely more of that anime, animated um, sort of voice. But um, I really use K-pop as an inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Um, for, um, specifically, I love, you know, 21, and I love CL, and these ladies from Korea really inspired me to, um, to, uh, in, for, for D.Va, so I, I think about them and getting into their mindset of, of fierce and sassy and sexy and sweet and smart and, uh, and strong, and with all of that comes D.Va. <laughs> <laughs> I like to fire a gun. <laughs> Gets me right in the mood, the smell. It's great. No, I, um, I, it, same thing with Matt. I gotta, I gotta center myself. I gotta calm myself down. I like to listen and watch uh, some reference. Kind of, I call it tuning up. Kind of tune myself into him a little bit. And then I think about being a little bit older, a lot older, and really caring about everybody. <laughs> and yes, being a daddy. <laughs> yeah, I have to second that, <laughs> definitely. Um, living in New York, uh, like Matt says in LA, you know, you have to run up and down stairs and kind of elbow people out of the way. And, and um, Mercy is, 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 is so nurturing and kind, right? And she's, she resurrects and heals people. So I really have to get into that like um, side of me that is a mommy. <laughs> mm. Not a real mommy, but a figurative mommy. <laughs> and um, and I, I remember Andrea said something to me in one of the sessions. She's, one, she's the director, and she said, oh, I just want to wrap myself in your voice like a blanket and have a hot cup of cocoa. And I always think of that when I'm in the booth with Mercy. I think, OK. I have to um, make my voice go to that place where you just want to wrap yourself in her voice on a couch with a hot cup of hot chocolate, you know? And then, and then I can get to that place where heroes never die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, 
In the spirit of looking back, um, if you all remember this, do you remember what your first reaction to seeing your character was when you finally saw them? Because obviously when we're doing auditions and stuff, you, you don't really know, and then we show you the art, we show you the stuff. So what were your first reactions to that? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> what a badass. <laughs> Wish oh I could God. do that. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Oh my God, she's so cute! <laughs> uh, I was like, that's me. Uh, <laughs> and then when I heard him with my voice, I was like, I, I, nobody's gonna believe that. <laughs> <laughs> that. That was when it clicked in for me, because I actually remember seeing the art at BlizzCon the year you guys announced the original trailer right. before the auditions had gone out. Uh, and I was like, I want to be in this game so bad. <laughs> and I went over to the artist Sally at BlizzCon, and I saw the, the character spread, and there's the cowboy in the far, and I was like, I could do that. <laughs> That's the one I could do. And so I was just waiting for the audition to come through, and it was like a Blizzard unnamed game right, yeah, uh, right. for a cowboy character, yeah. and he had a different name at the time, and I was like, I wonder if this is the guy. <laughs> I hope this is a guy. <laughs> and then I booked it, and I, I, got, a, I got a cowboy guy for Blizzard. <laughs> and I walked in, he showed me the art, I was like, I guess! Yeah, <laughs> you got it! And then as soon as I heard the voice of the character, I was like, okay, this got weird now. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> Like, huh? Okay. Okay. That's awesome. Hope the internet likes me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to remember what the what the code name was. I think it was it wasn't Joel, but it was uh, I think it was Billy McGraw or something oh, like oh, that. The, the, the original it was. Uh, <laughs> um, it wasn't. It wasn't Jesse McCree. It was. Oh man, it was. It was. It was like, something, something like, like that. Your yeah. typical country western singer. Yeah. It was, it was a funny story. When we were coming up with a name for that character, um, we had this whole list of, of possible cowboy names written down, and uh, we have a coworker, a uh, level designer named Jesse McCree, and we're like, none of these names sound ba better than that. So we uh, we got him to uh, lend his name, and also uh, you know he had to sign over the paperwork and everything. So we basically own his name now. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got, I got to meet him he's, actually. He's nameless, right? Yeah. He's called Bob now. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got to meet the actual Jesse McCree at the uh, the Christmas party last year, and we got a picture together. He doesn't look like a Jesse McCree at all. No, but he does have fantastic facial hair. It is incredible. <laughs> um, okay, so semi follow up question. Actually, it's not even related. Um, I'm curious because you know when I I think when a lot of people think of you, we we think of you as these characters that you play that we love so much. Um, I want to know how much do you actually feel like you are like the character that you play? my best, I think, I'm like uh, Mercy. But I do, I do feel like I have a lot of her qualities, and um, I do feel like I take care of a lot of people in my life. Uh, and that kind of, like, I had a moment where I was like, oh yeah, I am like that, actually. So, yeah, I think, um, like, maybe 70% Mercy. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I mean, usually actors bring a lot of themselves to parts that you end up playing. And uh, a lot of times it's a real reach. You gotta play some really scary guys and some demons and you know, and all this stuff. And um, But this is a character, I gotta tell you, and, and Andrea said, this is kind of closer to your, your personality. And I thought, gosh, you know, if I were, if I was a badass. No, uh, and, right? You and, are a badass. Thank you. <laughs> no, uh, it was a, it was definitely I could connect to him on a much more personal level. I actually feel it, it's it's not a big leap for me, so it's easier for me to jump into this character. A lot of the pathos he really cares about. A lot of people feels very protective of everyone, yeah. and I I and a lot of hidden empathy. He's really cold at the front, but he's a real soft guy underneath. And I I, I, I <laughs> thank you, mom. No, I really I um I really I I. I feel like this is pretty close for me, and, and I just had to add a little age and a little tragedy. Yeah. So, uh, so you think you think you'd be friends with uh, old Jack? Almost oh, definitely. I think he'd be like, "What the hell are you doing, fat guy?" No, he would just kidding. <laughs> but no, he he would be a friend. He's a good guy. I would be his friend. Yeah. Uh, I'm very passionate about this uh, this question for, and so I can kind of talk for a really long time about it. So I'm going to try to talk as fast as I can. Um, <laughs> I feel 
this is, I don't know if it's an element of actually just having really uh, played her for such a long time, for several years now, and, and being called diva and whatnot in person, but I feel kind of like 100% like I'm her, and it's probably <laughs> a problem because I, I, I'm just kind of getting delusional about this, but I really feel like it because she's sassy, and I, I, I have parts of me that are really sassy, and she's, you know, she's all these things that it, whatever you feel like, it, it, I, funny, it's funny story, a lot of people think that she was drawn after me, which I'm freaking embarrassed about because I'm like, she's, I'm nowhere near anatomically perfect as, as she is, but uh, I, I, oh, thank you, <laughs> thanks, Dad. <laughs> well, you guys made me, so, um, but I, I, I feel <laughs> corny, <laughs> but um, I, I do feel a uh, kinship with her, um, and also, just of, of course, the fact that she's Korean and also a feminist. I don't know if you guys know this, but in Korea, um, she was the bunny was used as a symbol of feminism, and that was a huge, huge deal. Yeah. And I'm, I'm constantly, I feel like, uh, fighting that battle, battle of, of sexism and, and equality. And so I, I love the fact that she could be young and sexy and, and hip, but at the same time, she's, she's sweet and adorable and feminine and smart and also strong. Despite the nerf, she's very strong. <laughs> um, and I do want to add another story. Um, I, this is just to, I'm, I'm going to embarrass Fred really quick, but at BlizzCon, <laughs> um, when I first met him, I was actually a huge huge fan because of another game called Call of Duty, and I... Um, you are too kind. <laughs> Nikolai. And I play Call of Duty Black Ops uh, Zombies. And so when I met him and I found out that he was my dad, according to you guys, I was at the Lord. And I was so excited. And Fred actually threw, I was very nervous. It was my first panel, my first con. And he had really very kindly, just gently um, guided me through that process and built up my confidence like a dad would. And I'm getting emotional thinking about it. But that's when our image imitates life and if, and if life imitates art and I've, uh, I I want to say he's very much like Soldier 76. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I would say, um, man, me and Lucio are very, very similar in the fact when I got my audition, it said, you know, cool, chill dude, super positive, like Pop-Tarts, and I'm just going nuts. And I, I did this years ago, I go, can't stop, won't stop, and then it's the same thing. I have a line in, in Overwatch with the same thing, and I'm like, yeah, it's, I was like, that, it's, it's almost said in the same way, and I was like, that's how, that's how I am. I heard a rumor that the role was handed to you that you didn't have to audition for it. Is that true? Is that a real thing? Yeah, that, somebody told me that at this con. They said Lucio had auditioned for something else, and so he got the role. No. Uh, okay. No, the, who said that? Raise your hand. I work for this, kind of. Right. Raise your hand or no more questions. <laughs> Come forward. Uh, no, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I just love his positive vibes. I, I'm always in that same vein of, like, you know, spreading love, and, uh, yeah, so... I'm a little bit of an outlier, I guess, by comparison. Uh, McCree is definitely this very classic Clint eastwood esh you know, machismo American persona. I am distinctly an indoor kid <laughs> who spent most of his life designing dungeons and playing JRPGs, so. <laughs> And you do it so well. well, well <laughs> yes. um, however, so to me, he's a projection of like my masculine id, that part of me that I, I never really had a chance to really embrace as that geeky theater kid growing up. So for me, he's, he's, he's an aspect of myself that I never got a chance to really express in, and, and be that kind of smooth, heroic representation of the, the classic American male. And uh, it's been a fun, a fun experience uh, exploring that, as well as just the redemption arc. I love redemption arcs anyway, and his history and his character story so far that's been revealed definitely shows like his history of the Black Watch and then eventually coming over to Overwatch. And I love that arc for a character anyway. So, um, so I, I'm, I'm a much smaller percentage, I think, McCree and some of the other actors, but I relish it because it's so different from me and I get to, I get to play in a space that's in some ways unfamiliar and new and fresh. All right, so follow-up question for you. Um, I've been dying to ask you this. Uh, if, what would McCree's D&D character be? Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> that's a mighty fun question. <laughs> Smooth, milky, know. buttery. 
I mean, if, I, if we're going straight forward, I'd probably pull myself a 5e uh, homebrew gunslinger by this guy named Matt Mercer he made on the, the DMs Guild. Yeah. But that seems a little too on the nose. I'd probably want to play a little out of my space, so uh, uh, roll me up a cleric. I want to see how Mercy likes it. <laughs> 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 right, Mercy would be, you know, playing some DPS warlock or something. Oh yeah, right? no, she'd tear into it. She'd be a fiend packed all the way. I'll just blast into him and in. Be good. Who, who do you think would be the uh, the most fun uh, Overwatch character to play D and D with? Well, obviously we got Reinhardt's the DM. That seems <laughs> right, right? <laughs> please, can we please have Darren DM a game as Reinhardt? Reinhardt, oh, please. My God. <laughs> Right oh my god. <laughs> Roll for initiative! <laughs> That's so good. That was so good. <laughs> Darren? Oh. No. I love Darren so much. Um, I, I, oh man, I mean, I mean, Reinhardt would be the best person to play because everything would be so in your face the whole time. Oh. You walk to the bar, Keith. Hello! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I, I, um. I feel like the, uh, you know, the part of every adventure where uh, the, the adventurers are trying to get the hook from the NPCs, I feel like Reinhardt would make that go real quick. Yeah, no, he just drives right through the narrative. <laughs> Tell me what you want me to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, yeah, I'd say Reinhardt probably be one of the most fun, definitely, if not Lucio. Oh, yeah. Those two guys. Yeah, we <laughs> definitely, you know, got to get someone to play that bard sometimes, right? Exactly. Be a damn fine bard. I'm in. All right, cool. Well, I got <laughs> All right, uh, I got a question. Um, Question for you, Fred. Um, so recently, um, in our last event, or second to last event, uh, Uprising, uh, what, one of the great things we got to do was we got to go into the past of Overwatch a little bit, and we got to learn about Jack Morrison, not in his Soldier 76 role. And one of the things that I really loved about it was that you were able to actually play the younger version of 76. And I was wondering if maybe you could talk a little bit about how you approached that different version of the character. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's just without the betrayal. You know, you, you know you, it really is. It's, it's, it's wonderful you see what kind of soldier he really was, or what he really is at heart. And so that was just the, it was just the dedication. Obviously, I had to kind of lighten myself a little bit, a couple of Jack Daniels less. <laughs> Not too much, though. But it was just the dedication to the program, to the, to the mission. And then that was the prior before we realized, oh, uh, you know, his directives were, he, he got betrayed and every, he lost everyone. And that's what really defined him later as Soldier 76. So Jack Morrison is just a great soldier, an augmented soldier, and is dedicated to the plan. And that's, that was kind of, I liked it. I liked that we got to explore that, like that he really was all part of the mission. And of course, soldiers came first, but he really was just that kind of dedicated, what you were supposed to be. You know, we're, we're heading on uh, Memorial Day and all the great soldiers, you know, uh, and God bless you for your service out there, for all of you who are doing it. That's a big deal, you know. My my, my uncle was a, was a, I had a lot of military in my family and I, and I have such respect for that. And so I wanted to bring that to it and uh, honor that. And the sadness is, Oh man, that, that went away. And now he had to become rogue. And, and then his personality did have to get a little crazy later. And that's all right. Sometimes you have to get a little crazy. That's right. Get off my lawn. <laughs> uh, so I have more questions, but I'm guessing that you all have some questions you'd probably like to uh, ask a fine panel up here. So I think there's a oh, mic. Jesus. There was a microphone. Now oh, there's my a God. Yeah. Be respectful. Yeah. Don't climb over each yeah. other. So, um, but before Be I careful of each other now. Watch out for your friend, your partner. <laughs> all right, well, before I throw it over there, I have one last question for you. I think um, all of us have seen how um, the voice actors of Overwatch, you guys really seem to be like a happy family and you're really close. Um, I was wondering if maybe you, you could all just talk a little bit about the experience that um, you've had, you know, interacting with each other and making the silly movies that we love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been amazing. I mean, this is not something that usually happens, I would say, in um, on a, on, on a project where uh, you do the voice because you record separately most of the time. Um, and in our cases, we live in different cities, um, on different sides of the country. I live in New York, you guys live in LA. Um, and so it's really unique to get to know uh, the other voice actors on a project 
like this. And then I think, though, because we're all so much like our characters in one way or another, somehow we already were a family yeah. as our characters. Definitely. And now we meet in person and we find, like, oh, my God, yeah, I kind of know you. I don't know. I feel like I know you guys, you know, even though um, some of us have only met. And then, yeah, the same with Sombra and, and the videos we made. I think that because there's so much passion that Michael and all the creators put into it and so much authenticity, it just uh, somehow has this magical way of translating over to, to the, the real side of it, the human side of it, you know? And I, I really do think that comes down to the passion, the love, and uh, the authenticity that goes into writing these characters and that went into choosing the voices for the characters because, you know, I think you guys just had a super clear vision of what you needed the emotional feel and quality of the, act, the, the voices to be. And uh, that comes from somewhere. It doesn't come from, it, you know, it comes from somewhere within us. Um, and so I think that's why we're able to connect this way. It's really special. I've never, ever experienced this before on a project. Um, on films, it happens because you spend so much time together that you become like a family. Uh, and then you go away and maybe you don't see each other again. But this is the first time I've had it happen with voice actors. Really special. I, th I think a lot of that awesome. is lent to Blizzard being so open to facilitate us coming together and yeah. being a part of this that's phenomenon. Very true, yeah. A lot of video games, you know, we. And to some degree are involved once the game comes out, but it's mainly a very separate process. But the team right. that made Overwatch have been so kind to include us in the excitement surrounding this and bringing us together to meet each other and do these events together. And it's it's been really, really amazing getting a chance to just meet all you and continue to see you and hang out and do fun extracurricular things with. So it's, it's a blessing, it really is. I agree with mom and the cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. No, instant rapport. It's amazing. It really is. And then it's also you guys, though, the fact that yeah. we get so much love from you kind of binds us together as a family, That's you know? That's really true. Um, because we see your reactions, so we have fun making these videos and surprising you and, and, you know, interacting with you, communicating with you. So I think that has something to do with it, too, because we're in this boat together, surrounded by you guys giving us so much love that that it makes it so fun and so rewarding. So thank you. You guys yeah, are all amazing. Really cool. I, I don't want to give too much credit to all to the, those of us that are up here and, and, and those on the cast, but I think we also got very fortunate because um, we have people, who, you know, those of us who've been doing voiceover um, maybe just a few years, and this is sort of our big first foray into the voiceover world, and then we've got the veterans up here, like Matt and Fred, and, and there's no, kind, this kind of how it is in like the voiceover world but we don't really bring our egos to the table whether you you know where wherever our breath of work has been and I think we just got really lucky to be able to have a cast that with everybody who has sort of a, a just this humility and kindness and everybody on the cast like everything you see on Twitter like that's all real like we're not making it up just so that we can make you guys happy like we are really like I just tweeted a picture of meeting uh, Lucy for the first time this week and yet we already feel like very close and totally. we know each other and and we dress happen alike. to dress alike on the first day so we, I, I said hashtag twinsies and yes she's mom but she's also like a sister to me now and so I feel like that whole we've gotten very we've been fortunate because of you guys picking us and also of course you inputting you know your thoughts into what overwatch needs to be and us being able to reflect that back onto you yeah i mean so much of what overwatch is continuing to grow and become is because of the passion of the community Brilliant. and all yeah, of you you know we we couldn't do overwatch and make the things that we were making now and the things we continue to want to do if it weren't for your amazing support so yeah you know. i've never seen like a partnership like this it's really great yeah. Yeah. The audience. Yeah. so with that said i see that there's a few people who have questions to ask so why yeah, don't we uh, start in on this line <laughs> uh, if you could just uh yeah just go for it okay so I was wondering, what were the voices before the voices? Like, when you're all practicing, what what was the voice that we might have heard? 
for uh, your character? Well, you know, I mean, it really depends. You know? <laughs> I mean, a lot of times, you know, I'm using my own voice, right? I mean, that's, and that's, this is actually, Matt knows, this is pretty much how I sound normally. It's really strange. And that's, uh, you start there. I don't know, actually, that's a good question. What do you think? I pitched this for mercy, but it didn't work. <laughs> I mean, it was close on those two, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question, actually. What, what, uh, what do you, did you have in mind? Well, are, what's... You, are you asking more like what we imagined or more like what they were working through? Kind of both. Like where you sat about it and then when you all heard like what your character was, what you started with and how oh, you I think that's definitely up. more of a question for Michael because uh, for the most part what it sounds like to me is that we all kind of, the, the voice that you hear now is sort of what we brought in and it, yeah. it, we, we kind of landed it after that so that's probably more of a question for Michael. What did you have in mind in comparison to, like, in comparison to what ended up happening? Um, it, it's funny because if I could really describe what was in my head it would probably make everything easier for everyone but um, <laughs> uh, it's, it's interesting, you know it's usually a vague idea of what we like the sound um, of the character be like. We think about tone and then kind of like a texture of voice, that kind of thing. Um, but there's really this magical process that happens when we start working with the actors where we get to hear the voice. And then, you know, I think at the beginning of usually our first session, there's a little bit of like, okay, let's play with this a little bit. Let's we all. Did, we did that. I yeah. remember, I mean, I, it was yeah. kind of going, how rough do you want to, like for my character, we did kind of get a, 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 they wanted it close to my own voice, just age me up a little bit. We had a lot of, a lot of clean Clint Eastwood, you know, with the Heartbreak Ridge kind of thing, and then kind of like pulled back from there, and how, yeah. how low do you want? And I mean, we, I remember yeah. working with you, yeah, and it was almost like we were tuning it up, like, oh, how about in here? No, no, a little, a little lower down here. No, he's not that guy. He's just in the middle, in the middle. Just don't push. This thing for me, it was don't do too much. Yep. It was kind of, yep. in, but I remember distinctly, yep. we had to go through a few, yep. but it was all about, for me, it was the pitch. How low and how gruff. That was kind of for that one, but for you guys, it's all probably different. I remember that too, that we worked through the pitch of her. Um, if she talked more like this or more like this, you know, um, and then uh, the accent, how heavy the accent would be, you know, I think we started pretty heavy and mm -hmm. then we toned it down yeah. a bit, yeah. So we did work through some some different voices. You were familiar with that accent, though, pretty heavily before. Yeah, because I'm from Germany. I speak it all Deutsch. I'm German, yeah. yeah so no, no, it's, it's so I've I've done that accent in different in different varieties, but usually more on a comical level, <laughs> um, which is more like this, you know, when you talk like this, and that's really funny because the Germans sound like this. You know? Yeah, wie seid Ja, natürlich, danke, bravo. <laughs> No, it's an okay, interesting yeah. point. The, the audition process, when the, the auditions first go out for most games or, or series, you're given very limited information about the character, and you're essentially making choices in a void yeah. and hoping it's close to what maybe they're looking for. Lots and, of gut, yeah. gut choices. So yeah. for, like, for me, when the auditions first went out, my McCree, based on what my booth director wanted at my agency, was, was much lower and much more just like gruff and down, kind of chewing on a cigar. <laughs> and it wasn't until the callbacks that we actually had a back and yeah. forth that conversation, like exactly. bring him up, make him a little more personality, a little more smile, a little more fun and charismatic, but still that kind of darker character. So his voice didn't start coming around until I got to actually talk with you guys and work back and forth. Definitely. So yeah, he started a lot more hardline, you know, ready to just shoot and kill someone. And then he eventually became a little, you know, a little more the guy you know today. Smooth talker. Milky, buttery, smooth. <laughs> smooth. Delicious. Lady. Uh, You're making me, me blush. <laughs> for me, it was like, uh, I went in and it was that. It was you didn't eight. have to audition. <laughs> oh, whatever. Don't stop that. Know. You just ate candy. No. I wish stuff was handed to me like that. If anybody wants to give me anything, you know. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -huh. I think I was definitely more in the boat. I spoke too soon for everyone, so I'm so sorry, because I just, I figured this is who you are, and so of course we just <laughs> got it. Um, but I think I'm more in the boat with, uh, Luke, uh, with Johnny here, because... Um, I, one of the things, and, and for those of you who might be pursuing voiceover and whatnot too, uh, not to change the conversation too much, but uh, a lot of landing role, like the role is about specificity. So whatever you have in your mind, make it very specific. And I was just very specific about what I wanted her to sound like and what I thought she should sound like. And so once I, I it really, uh, my audition is what ended up what being what you guys hear, mm -hmm. the only thing that we really adjusted, so maybe I, I, um, I spoke too soon, 
is, uh, is her accent because she's Korean in Korea, not Korean American and not 1.5 generation. She's first generation in Korea. And so that was a little tricky because she speaks fluent Korean, but also um, I didn't want her to sound like she was Korean American. And, and like there, it, we had a little bit of adjustment to do because I didn't want, uh, uh, we didn't collectively want to make, like insult anybody with, with, a, with a very thick Asian accent that seemed inauthentic and, and started becoming comical. And I don't have an accent when I speak, and so uh, some of the challenges of Diva what it, throughout the years has been to the uh, has been to make sure to keep a little bit of that accent because after a while it's just me, um, see, you know, speaking as Diva without the accent. So that that's been the only challenge to make sure that she has a little bit of that that accent still without it being insulting to all Koreans um, in the world. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, next question. Hi, I'm Daz. I love Hi, all Daz. you guys, by the way. Hi, love we love you, you too. Hey. I owe one. <laughs> a while back, there was a Twitch stream with Matthew and uh, Crispin Freeman. You were playing the characters that you voiced in game, and that was yeah. really awesome. <laughs> but it was kind of like spontaneous to me, and I don't know if there were other instances of that. Is there any chance of more characters being played by you guys <laughs> on Twitch or any other stream? Service? I was just on Twitch last week for the first time. I did my first stream with Lava, Loud and Annoying. And if you guys go onto my Twitter, you can see there will probably be like a retweet of, of it. But um, uh, I, I just did it and I got to play the game. And I'm here to announce that on the console, I do main Diva. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, that, uh, the, the, the stream with Crispin was kind of just a spontaneous, fun thing. And uh, I mean, the, the setup is a little convoluted and scheduling is an issue sometimes. Uh, we had a fun time. It's also trying to, you know, the thing with sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the gamer community can be, how do I put it? Caustic. <laughs> <laughs> so like, you know, we had Crispin who hadn't played the game a lot. And so we go in there and all of a sudden we have a lot of people screaming, Winston, you suck! <laughs> He's like, well, I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to. And, it, and, and so, it, you know, it, it, the idea is to try and maintain an air of positivity and bring the people in there. And I will say Overwatch has a, has a much more positive <laughs> community than a lot of other competitive games do on the Internet. Um, but, uh, but, but it's making sure that we can maintain that positivity and not say anything out of character either. You know, we want to represent these characters properly for both what both the game wants to do in Blizzard. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we try and do that delicately and occasionally and do it alongside Papa Blizzard. Make sure everything's kosher going forward too. You were on Twitch last week. All right, uh, next question. Hello. Hey, Hi. hello. Hi. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, this isn't um, really a question, but my sister is actually running the origami panel right now, so she couldn't be here. So I was just wondering if you guys could give her a quick shout out. <laughs> What's her name? Kiana. What's up, Kiana? <laughs> Hello, Kiana. Hello, Kiana. Report for duty. <laughs> <laughs> Kiana, annyeong. Hey there, Kiana. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Silver tongue <laughs> devil. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Hey, uh, this is a question for you, Michael. Um, you've made such a robust, amazing story and world for Overwatch, and uh, I'm a console player, but it's, I'm wondering what the philosophy or decision was to not include some kind of specific area for us to, while we're queuing up, look in more into the story of Overwatch and read that while we're queuing and things like that. Yeah, so um, this is definitely something that we want to do more of. Um, it's basically one of those features that's often kind of on the, it's on the on the border of getting into each patch as they come. Um, we so we've done a little bit of stuff. We started adding the uh, flavor text to the skins, um, but we have some plans to to get some more stuff into the game so that you can read it there. Look forward to it, man. Thanks, Cody. Thank you. Kiana and I'm a diva main. Woo! Um, I was wondering 
um, if you guys knew anything about ships and how you feel about them, specifically Mercury and Hanzo. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to leave that one for Mr. Mercer there. Yep. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, I mean, we're definitely aware of him. <laughs> the, the internet is a very loud place. <laughs> Um, I, you know, I, I, I don't subscribe to any ships personally. I think they're, but I, but I, I support them. I think it's a really, it's a really, really amazing part of this community because it allows people to, especially in a space like Overwatch, where the narrative is disparate enough that it allows the audience to kind of fill in the gaps for themselves for the time being, and kind of the community builds its own narrative in a space where there isn't anything concrete. And so I think that, you know, the shipping is a, a really wonderful way for people to find identifiers of these characters and relationships that can reflect what they want in their own relationships or things that can give them inspiration. And I think it's really, really cool. I'm very aware of the, um, <laughs> of the McCree Hanzo, uh, or McHanzo as it's been told. And I think it's adorable. I, I think it's, I think it's, it's a really cute thing. Um, you know, I, 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 people have been very angry about like, oh my God, Matt's a, Matt, Matt is a, a, a shipper of McHanzo, or Matt is not. And I've seen this angry back and forth. I'm like, no, I think it's all great, guys. I don't feel one way or the other. I, 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 the art's amazing, and they're adorable in that, that, that universe. Sure, let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> what ship? Yeah. Ship it. Shipping ship. is when... What <laughs> ship? Oh. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, hello. Hey. Hello. Hi. Uh, my name's Haley, and I had one quick question and a present for D.Va, if that's okay. No. <laughs> okay. Hey! Oh, no. Okay, uh, question. Uh, there's a lot of memes for Overwatch, obviously, and whenever that first, like, blew up on the internet, how did you guys react? <laughs> I personally think all of it's funny, hilarious. I love seeing yeah, it. I love all the creation. Uh, yeah, I find it very amusing, and I'm so I'm always telling people, send me, send me your memes. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I'll double tap. Send us the memes. Absolutely, it's it's incredible creativity out there, and it just it just feeds us. And culturally, it's just great. Yeah. Gremlin diva. <laughs> I'll be your daddy. <laughs> Can I bring it to you? Oh, wait, on a more serious note, uh, on the last question. Um, I, I, well, this isn't a ship, okay, but, you know, okay. Talk about the ship. Yes, going back to uh, the, the ship between D.Va and Soldier 76, one of the things that I really liked about that was I got a lot of uh, feedback about, you know, a lot of people saying that they, they don't have good father figures, and, and mm. that's not really represented in the game world. And I just thought, um, you know, I, not my, I myself had a really tough childhood, so when I saw that happening, and it wasn't just romantic ships uh, every which way, and that there were other relationships that are familial, especially with all of us, you know, we're, we all have imperfect lives with imperfect families, and to be able to live vicariously through these characters and these other relationships that seem really healthy and normal um, I think is also is, is an encouragement and so I, I, I I'm a huge supporter of the ships and I think that we need to continue to um, spread that positivity and creativity through the ships it's great yeah you're gonna get your, get your oh. oh nice oh All right, got more questions? It looks yeah. like it, yes. Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, yes, let's see. So it's got a little like bubble, what do you say? Nice try, Lucio, but fire beats grass. And then it's a little bubble. Hold it up for the Charmander's ember was super effective. Can we hold it up? Yeah, can you see it? That's right, she just kicked her ass at Pokemon. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then I'm like, oh, come on. It's cute, but no. <laughs> Get back to the gym, Lucio. Oh, that's great. <laughs> his, his voice is still milky, by the way. It's great. Mm -hmm. So cool. Great job. Amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> okay. So, my name is Malcolm. How y'all doing? You guys are amazing. And I am a Lucio main. Yeah, boy. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I do mess with Soldier 76. I love That's all right. Him Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, and Diva as well. I'm sorry. All right, I'm not. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. All right, I just have to honestly say I'm not great at Mercy or McCree. I'm sorry. Yeah, speak up, speak up. Again, in my speak into my the mic. Hey, so, hey, is this a pair? Yeah, you're good. Hey, yeah. So my question is, I'm an amateur voice a actor, and I'd like to like think I'm not the only one in here. I love voice acting, and. I just really want to ask, just simply, um, do you have any advice for me or any other voice, expiring voice actor out there, you know? One of the best sources for any advice universally for the industry and can answer that question far more than any of us could in the few minutes we have on the panel is a website by D. Bradley Baker called IWantToBeAVoiceActor.com. Yep. It, it's, it's a delightful blog breakdown of so many aspects of how to break into the industry, how to hone your craft, how to go about building your repertoire and your, your credits and where to look for these certain circumstances. That's a great resource. That's as, a great one. Yeah. As well as uh, Yuri and Tara Platt's book, uh, Voice Over Voice Actor, also a really great resource. And uh, just in general, it's good to start with your acting. I mean, just one path is, is acting is, is a great way to start. You know, learn the theater, learn just the craft of what, what that art form is. And then uh, take classes if you can. You know, learn mic technique and record yourself. Hear how you sound. Try different voices. Try everything. You might have one voice. You might have 300. Oh, but just try, character. try to experiment yeah. around. It's like music. Just yeah. play and hear it back. You know. Yeah, also I took care Wednesday. of. The, yeah, I took care of that step. Actually, I did get a chance to like record myself. Great. I have a reel and stuff. I, I just want to make sure I'm on the right path. That sounds so. good. Yeah. 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 Also, the guy who plays, um, or the actor who plays Winston, Crispin Freeman, he also has a, a website. So if you want to start, you know, with mm. somebody familiar, then ch uh, Google Crispin Freeman. He also has a good, um, resourceful website. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank, well, thank you. you. Thanks, yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Good luck. Um, good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> good evening. Uh, basically, my question is, um, who's your favorite hero and why is it Anna Amari? <laughs> I, th I think you answered your own question. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, seriously, uh, seriously, it's for, um, for Fred hero. here. Uh, your ultimate's ready, bro. For all the soldier mains out there, give us the ultimate line. Oh, but, oh, well, we're all soldiers now. <laughs> you're in my sights. That's what you're talking about? Oh, are you talking, talking to me? Like, yeah. like, <laughs> are you talking? I can't see you. Yeah. <laughs> That's a different movie. No, no. What, what, what did you want me to say? Well, uh, you know, uh, I've got you in my sights. Yeah, that's what I meant. You said it. Oh, yeah, sorry. You said it. I've yeah. got you in my sights. That's usually when the S is going down, when that happens. <laughs> you know that, right? Okay, good. <laughs> but thank you, my friend. And I now have you in my sights. And it's good to see you. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> And actually, off that, I want to say Anna is one of my favorite character designs for the game because it's very rare to see a badass matronly woman of a more advanced age totally true. as an awesome lead character in any sort of video game. And as soon as you guys announced her, I was like, yes, yeah. this is so awesome. And, and that attitude. Yes. Yeah, man. Yeah. She's so good. And the actress is so good. Oh. Anyway, sorry, I'm nerding oh, out. Oh, and I just want to point out, if you, ever yeah, read the, great. if you ever read the comic where uh, Anna is fighting with uh, Reaper and... Uh, uh, 76. She's totally kicking Reaper's butt. <laughs> John A, how's it hanging? <laughs> What's up, <laughs> hey? hey. <laughs> In Heroes of the Storm, when D.Va was first released, I heard there was a couple of voice lines of you having like pickup lines and stuff <laughs> like that. So I wanted to hear each and every one of your pickup lines. <laughs> Michael, take notes. Put this in the game. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I mean, sometimes we do so many lines, I don't remember, like... What, what would be your pickup line? Oh, what would be? Yes. Oh, man. Um... <laughs> do it. No, well, is it one I'm making up? Am I making it up? You're on your own. <laughs> uh... Did it hurt I'm much waiting. when oh, you fell from heaven? <laughs> no. uh, oh, man. Uh... <laughs> wait, wait, let me, let me think. Okay. You got this, you got this. Um. <laughs> no, that was too cheesy. Uh, uh, the cheese? Um. Do it. You know Do what? It now. 
I don't, I don't know, guys. I just, I'd, I'd be open and I'd be real and I'd be like, you know what? Hey, um, I really like you. Aww. <laughs> Works every uh, time. Yeah. Give him a round of applause, guys. It's hard to be vulnerable. <laughs> you didn't go for the cheese, which yeah. is great. No. You didn't do the whole, your legs must be tired. Because no. yeah. you're walking in and out of my dreams all night. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. I mean, technically, I already said mine in the game. I'm your Uncle Barry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Daddy-o. I'm into it. That's an actual line, though, so maybe that, maybe Take I Take it easy. If you were picking me up, what would you say? Oh. So if they were picking you up, they'd be like, oh, well, I obviously main Lucio. <laughs> uh, Let me get up in yo Lucio. Oh, oh! <laughs> oh shit. Let me get your Lucy number. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I see we have five minutes left, so uh -oh, we're going lightning okay, round now. All so, about love, round. sweet love. Nice bite-sized questions. Hello, so... I heard you guys mentioning that you've met a lot of people who have been cosplaying your characters. So I wanted to know if you guys have or would you guys ever consider costuming your own characters? Totally. Yeah. Perhaps. Somebody just make it for me. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> well, you yeah. could get together with uh, Blizzard and their costuming department, get them to make it happen. Hey, hey, Johnny, yeah, can you, you, you know how to, can you rollerblade? Oh, I can rollerblade. <laughs> Ooh. Real good. <laughs> All right. Hi, um, can I say real quick that thank you to Matt and Johnny and Fred for the stuff they signed for me the past weekend. You all signed my friend's art, and he's getting more things signed from this con than I am. Uh, <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> um, my question was, is there something that you don't know about your character that you want to know? Oh my gosh, so much. Ooh. Oh, I'll take notes. So much. <laughs> so much. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot, but I don't think I can get into it right now. But yeah, yeah, there's a lot. So much. Everything. Yeah, so I, I just, uh, what did we, we do? I'm sorry. Uh, no, I think uh, I really want to know about Lucio so much through a Lucio short, <laughs> Michael Chu. <Jim. laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> Sounds like, sounds like you're not the only one. Uh, I have 200 hours on Lucio, and Lucio Short would uh, be my dream. Yeah. <laughs> Mine too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right, quick There's question. There's a lot. There's a lot. Hello, everybody. Hello. Um, Hello. Quick question for y'all. Do y'all have a voice line that did not make it into the game that you like a lot, that you wish would get put in the game? Ooh. I know. <laughs> I can't remember. There Do must you know which line it is? <laughs> that's the Gangnam style one, and I think we didn't get licensing for it. Is that what? So, yeah, that's why we didn't do it. Yes, it's, it's my favorite line. <laughs> I, I hope to maybe one day get it like a, just for personal reasons, a, how do you want to do this? <laughs> Keep, take notes. <laughs> All right. All right, this one's for Matthew. <laughs> I can't, can't imagine why. <laughs> Draw. <laughs> uh, Matthew, can yes. you say this pickup line for me? Depends on the pickup line. <laughs> are, you know, are you from Tennessee? Uh, is that, are you from Tennessee, that one? No. Are you from Tennessee? Am I from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. Oh. oh. Can you say that? Do it, McCree. Hey, you from Tennessee? Cause you're the only ten I see. All right, I think we have time for like two more questions. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel obligated to ask Diva to say Winky Face for a Snapchat real quick. Um, <laughs> give me a second. Gotta love it. 
Okay. Winky face. Wait, just one wait. more. Sorry. Uh -oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh. Wow. Okay. Let's go. Winky face. <laughs> Thank you so much. But, um... <laughs> uh, do they, like, tell you stuff about your characters before they become, like, officially released? Like, for instance, when, um, when the, uh, Soldier finds out that Anna Amari is really alive, do they tell you that stuff beforehand? Sometimes, yeah. I mean, we, we generally, by the time I'm doing, by the time we're doing it, we know what's, what's happening. We may not know a month before. We may not know, like, the story. Sometimes we're just as surprised as you guys once we read what's going on when we're in the booth. But, yeah, you, we, we, we get informed. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank yeah, you I'd, so much. I'd say right? Is that what you mean? Yeah. That's yeah. Right. I'd say we're about as excited for each recording session to learn new things about know. our character. No, no, no. We don't know. Yeah. We walk in and we're like, what happened? Oh, yeah. oh. And they show us the film and we go, oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's, we're much a fan too. Sometimes, yeah, well, I don't tell you. Don't be any films. All right. I think this is the last question. Oh, nice. Make yo, it yo, good. Hey, uh, yeah. Make it a good one. Make it the best ever. Wow, okay, no now pressure. You got pressure on Come on, soldier. <laughs> um, I just gotta know, who do you guys main in Overwatch? Ah, if you guys do play it, which I hope you do. Also, Lucio is the best. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I guess we'll we'll go down. Um, I don't really main anyone, but if you looked it up, most hours played Reinhardt. Um. <laughs> Mercy. I love Soldier, and I, yeah, I like the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> on PC, I uh, mained Roadhog, and on console, which I have the most hours for, I main Tifa. <laughs> so this isn't official or anything, but because uh, I haven't really gone through it, but I would do Junkrat for the lols. <laughs> I, I learned to main McCree because I felt like I had to. <laughs> but I've actually learned to enjoy him very much. But actually, most of the time outside from him, I play Mercy. Mercy. I, Support love, guys. Keep I, love I agree with you. Yes. There. And stay on the payload. <laughs> yeah. God. This payload. Move. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone, for coming. And uh, give a big round of applause for this awesome panel we have here today. Ladies and gentlemen, if those of you who are in seats can please hold for a couple minutes, let all of our friends that were standing over by the curtains exit the room, and then you can follow them. Very small exit, and there are a whole lot of y'all.